I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makar, Kadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of great millstone. And peace and blessing to you, Aki, my head that's pushing this truth. This is the brother Yakalim from the GMS Boston camp. And out of Juan Rathazel, Lord willing, this video was um, not just edifying, but a faith builder to your argument as well. Going back into my dream journal, I want to bring out a vision that I had. And um, it's like I was in the, uh, the, the project, something that looked like Marcy Projects in New York. And it was busy. There was people out there drinking and partying. It was almost like the summertime. And I was looking for my son. And I was showing people a picture. I said, have you seen him? Have you seen him? And um, they were just like brushing me off. But I felt something was coming. So I started to walk away. And um, the book of Matthew 24 and 37 tells us, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And what went on was, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage unto the day that Noah entered into the ark. And that's what's going on now. You know, Noah was prophesying, you know, the coming destruction. And people ignored him and they partied and... You know, they just continued on with life until they felt those raindrops. And, and but it was too late because it says and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. And that's what we're going through right now. The Lord got the men of the Lord out on the highways and byways talking about, you know, the destruction of this kingdom and the coming of Yahweh Shai. And you got the scoffers, they mock us and they laugh at us. But when them clouds crack, it's going to be too late. And. That's what was going into the next part of this vision. As I started walking away, these red orbs appeared. And um, the, the sky became like a reddish purplish color. And it got darkened and it was chariots appearing everywhere. Zipping by, going fast. And people started looking up and they became afraid. And it tells you in Luke 21 and 25. And there should be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves warring. Men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. And I started to get excited. Like, word, it's our time. I don't this out. I'm part of that elect. Um, and I get beamed up. And when, and when this occurs, there's going to be so many people that's caught off guard, especially those that laugh like what chariots, because they think what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, there's going to be green Martians. And men know for the men of the Lord, that's why the scripture says, blessed is he that readeth. We know that that's our salvation. That's our ticket out of here. Now, at that point, a Moabite um, news crew appeared and um, a couple of the brothers, they they walked out of nowhere. I, um, it was the brother Amawan, the brother Debar the brother Taz of war and then the brother Zion showed up and um I, I I told him that you're a leader so you do the interview so you know um he was going in um on our ordinations he was getting on Moab <laughs> you know he was just standing there posing like you know we we uh, felt like we were ill and um people people started to become afraid and they started to run because things was getting worse and Amos 5 and 18 tells us woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into a house and leaned his hand on a wall and a serpent bit him, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness. And why? Because when the Lord comes back, the Lord's coming back with a sword. And like I said, we don't care much for the other nations. We only care for Yasharala. And the scripture tells us that two thirds of our people are going to perish. And, and, and people them got so caught up on that Christian doctrine that the Lord's coming. It's going to be a so-called white man and it's going to be a loving and beautiful day. But once again, blesses he that readeth. If you were into the scriptures and the Lord put that spirit on you to sell with you, you would understand that it's a day of darkness. And um, going back into that dream, um, I turned around and I realized I wasn't going to find my son. So I shed a tear and then I prayed that the Lord would have mercy on him. And um, I want to go to Romans 9 and 15 because it says, For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that showeth mercy. Therefore have ye mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will harden. 
And that's us, brothers. You know, we come to that realization that we want salvation for ourselves, but we only pray that the Lord has mercy on our children, on our seed, or 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 the wives that we deal with on this side. But ultimately, it's up to the Lord. And that was our understanding. So the dream at this point is shifted. And I was back in them same projects, but it was cold and it was empty. There was no noise. The, the, the windows looked black. And we came across a tall building. And when I, um, you know, when I looked up, something felt different. So I jumped and I leaped all the way to the top of the building. And I was like, I don't even know how to put it in terms, like excited. And in the other Archeum, they jumped up too. And we were saluting each other. We was praising the Lord. And the scripture tells you in Isaiah 30 and 31, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. And then we was on top of this building. It was like a penthouse um, on that project building. All of a sudden, the door opened up and these Edomites, they were in shock. And when we looked in, we seen a whole bunch of screens of cameras. It looks similar to that mom, to that scene in the first purge when those Edomites were in that room watching all the chaos. And they were shocked. And then they had a shelf full of like top shelf Henny and shit. So um, the Arkham, we all grabbed the Henny and we started drinking it and we was laughing at them. And then we um, jumped off the building and we landed and they were still frozen. And then as we proceeded, we came across this camp and um, with our people in it. And it was two dirt niggas. I'm going to say just like that. And just like what I read earlier in the book of Matthew 24 and 37, even when chariots were in the skies and orbs and shit was going crazy, you still had niggas partying. And um, my brother, Taza Wall, he was talking to a girl. And this boxer dude came up um, flexing. So I said, let's go. And on the way walking... Um, I grabbed this girl, like, you know, you might as well come with us. And she said, never, nigga. So the brother Zion, you know, he choked her out. He choked the life out of her. Um, and, um, I mean, he called her a prideful bitch. And then um, the boxer dude tried to run up. So I grabbed him um, by the throat. And when I grabbed him and went to throw him back, he literally turned in the paper into my hands. And um, everybody at the party turned pale white like a bright white in fear and, and, and men were holding their stomachs and they fell to the ground and women, they were shaking, they were petrified. And, 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 um, you know, we, we, um, knew that something was, um, something was different. And Jeremiah, um, 30 and six tells us, ask ye now and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. And, and people are going to do this when they see the chariots. You know, when they see their, their, their children lying out on the streets like the scripture was going into Jacob's trouble. What more for the Archeum that the Lord are going to guide through and, and, and give spiritual powers. And they're going to see the wonders of those men. And that's what happened in this part of the vision. And then, um, you know, I, I, I want to bring out Psalms um, 110. I'm going to start at one with the points in three. It says, a Psalm of David. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Woo thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning that thou has the dew of thy youth, woman. Um, and that was going into one of those same females, the ones that were standing in the back, they started coming up to us and they started wanting to come and we brushed them off because Isaiah 4 and 1 tells us that in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our approach because they knew who the, who the, basically who the true power was. They was hanging around that boxer, hanging around two dirt niggas. They was flexing. But once the Lord... You know, through us, we have revealed that power. They knew what true power was and they wanted to be around it. But once again, what I brought out in Psalms 110 and 3, it's because thy people shall be willing in that day of that power. Then that day, you know, even when Yahweh Shai appears with those um chariots, then people are going to want to get an order. But it's going to be too late. And then we walked away. We didn't take none of them um broads with us. But then when we walked away, um, it's like the dream shifted. And we was walking across this body of water. It was so clear. 
but we can see a reflection of a mountain. And when we all walked across the water, we all said to each other, um, let's give praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we did. We all bowed down and put our face on the ground and we started praising the Lord. And um, the book of Psalms 135 and 1 tells us, praise ye the Lord, praise ye the name of the Lord, praise him, O ye servants of the Lord, ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the course of the house of our power. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Yasharallah for his peculiar treasure. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the our water, you know, just by reading that. And 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 when I was in this vision, you know, we were dropping tears and we was praising. And then after that, we started doing push-ups. And then we started doing push-ups with one hand. You know, we were being a little cocky, but we were still humble. But we were giving the Lord praise because we realized what the Lord just brought us through to bestow powers on us, made us have a chance. Like, maybe we are part of that elect at that point. But yet, we weren't beamed up on no chariots. But, um, so after that, we came across a place. Um, It kind of looked like Boston, the brownstones. And we came across a building and when we went inside, we smelled food, and it was the brother Karab. He was in there cooking, and he was happy to see us. He saluted us, and then we were in there. We were relaxing for a while. Brothers was changing. And then my brother Tazawa, he put on these uh, old-school Durango-looking cowboy boots and a studded belt. Like, he was dressing up like a superhero, you know, you know, because we I got a little power, so he wanted to show out, but we was clowning him. But then um, we heard some noise, and when we looked out the window, well, it wasn't Boston because it was BPD Cruises. They had these Jakes hemmed up and um, I went to like go because we realized we have power to save them. And the brother Zion, he put his hand up and he said, um, let them die. You know, that's their lot. And um, the scripture tells us that Zachariah, once again, 13 and 8, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, save the Lord power, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. So they got killed. And then we had heard some noise. And um, they were coming through the building to look for people. And then they came up to the door. And when they went to shift the door, you know, brothers were standing around getting ready. It's just a, it almost reminded me of when you watch the Avengers, um, the Avengers and they all assemble. You know, we were all getting ready like shit. These cruises, they can't fuck with one of us, let alone six of us. And uh, Joshua 23 and 10 tells us one man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord your power, he it is that fighter for you, as he hath promised you. And when you go back and think about our forefather, um, you know, you think about King David, you think about his mighty men, how they was just them taking about I'm um, taking out hundreds. You think about um oh I forgot his name, his name just escaped me. Um you, you think about Samson, you know, you think about Matthias and his son, sons, you know, we come from great warriors. And the Lord always showed his works in a small multitude. And, you know, it's going to be like that in that day. When the Lord really turns stuff up, those those, those men out of Rontazo, we always say, Lord willing with him. When we're given those powers, the Lord's going to let us act up. But he's going to act up first. That's why the scripture says, you know, the redeemer of Yasharala, because he's going to show us how it's done. He's the ultimate Judite. And um, so at that point, when they grabbed the door, I got amped like word, but then the Lord didn't want me to see the rest of that. So I woke up and um, the vision was done. But I want to bring out these uh, two precepts. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 70 because it says, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, that they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Lord is your guide. And then I'm going to um, go into Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth not. And this is the time that we're living in, with all these prophecies all happening at once. The only, the only, the only, um, damn, what's the right term to use, Akim? The only way that we're going to get through this is through Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and him having mercy on us. 
So that's why Arkham, we always say pray fast and prepare ourselves because there's a battle ahead of us. And a lot of people are going to be caught off guard. And the Lord gave us a chance to, 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 I know what's coming. Like the scripture shortly paraphrased and said, because ye are my friends, I shall tell you these things. And what happens when you, you know, when somebody's messing with your friend, you're going to come back and fuck shit up and you're going to come get your friend. And that's the case. And what the Lord's treasure, where your house treasure at the end of the day. So brothers, I hope this video was edifying as well as a faith builder in Salakia. I've been a little, um, you know, slow on bringing um, out more of my dreams in my journal. And um, at the end of the day, everything's the spirit of the Lord. And I want to say the water um, to Amawanga Bar for the Lord putting the spirit on him to do that quick show about living up to your name. And that's what the name Yachalim means. He dreams. So I want to give all praises on and glory unto Yahweh. By Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Makar, Kadash. The Bawanas and my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessing to you, Akim and Akwaf, that are sincerely tuning in. And you want to be saved. Just pray the Lord has mercy. Till next time, Yashar Allah Shalom.